the Twin City Metropolitan Area Weather Radio Station, KC65, serving a portion of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota, on an assigned frequency of 162.55 MHz, and transmit from the KSTP Television Tower in St. Paul. The current time is 8.25 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 8 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was mostly cloudy. It was 27 degrees or minus 3 degrees Celsius. The dew point was 14. The relative humidity was 58%. The wind was northwest at 12 miles an hour. The wind chill was 17. The pressure was 30.13 inches and rising. Around the metro, temperatures were between 25 and 28 degrees. It was partly cloudy at St. Paul, Eden Prairie, and Lakeville. At Plain, it was mostly cloudy. At Lake Elmo, it was fair. Around the state, at International Falls, snow was falling with a temperature of 14. It was clear with a temperature of 22 at St. Cloud, 21 at Brainerd, and 19 at Duluth. At Rochester, it was cloudy with a temperature of 29. Across the Dakotas, at Fargo, it was clear, with a temperature of 15. At Sioux Falls, it was cloudy, with a temperature of 25. In Iowa, it was mostly cloudy. It was 35 at Des Moines, and 28 at Mason City. Around Wisconsin, it was mostly cloudy. It was 38 at Madison, 44 at Milwaukee, and 29 at Eau Claire. Once again at 8 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was 27 degrees. The wind chill was 17, under mostly cloudy skies. Now the latest weather synopsis for the eastern Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. A west-to-east jet stream configuration will provide a very active pre-Thanksgiving weather pattern to much of the upper Midwest. A weakened storm system will enter the far western Dakotas by late tonight. By late Saturday evening, a warm frontal boundary emanating from this storm system will be seen across northern South Dakota, southern North Dakota, and northern Minnesota. Winter weather advisories are in effect across western North Dakota tonight, spreading into central and eastern areas through Sunday evening. For tonight in North Dakota, snow developing southwest, chance of snow west and west central. In South Dakota, chance of light snow far northwest. For Saturday in North Dakota, look for snow west and central. Chance of snow east. In South Dakota, chance of light snow far northwest. Low temperatures tonight in North Dakota will pull back into the 5 below across the north to 15 above zero south. The teens to lower 20s will be seen in South Dakota. Minnesotans will encounter a range 0 to near 20 degrees. The teens to mid 20s will occur in Wisconsin with the teens to mid 30s across Iowa. Highs on Saturday will rally into the 30s to near 50 in Iowa and to the mid-20s to near 40 in Wisconsin, with the upper teens to near 30 occurring in Minnesota. The 20s to 30s will occur in South Dakota with the mid-teens to mid-20s observed in North Dakota. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. For this afternoon and tonight, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. And now the extended outlook for the period Saturday through Thursday. The pattern is very active in the extended, where three different systems could bring winter weather to Minnesota and Wisconsin. The first storm system is expected to spread light precipitation across Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin Saturday night and Sunday. The best chance for precipitation will come after midnight and will likely come in the form of light freezing rain and freezing drizzle in southern Minnesota and west-central Wisconsin. The best chance for light ice accumulations will be in far eastern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. As temperatures warm on Sunday, there should be a changeover to all rain by the late morning. Light snow is more likely in central Minnesota. The second system will arrive on Monday. This will be a colder system and could bring a few inches of accumulating snow to the area. There may only be a short window of clearing on Sunday before this system moves in early Monday. The snow should come to an end Monday evening. Right now Tuesday looks cool, cloudy, and mostly dry. The third system will arrive early Wednesday and last throughout the day. 
This is a very energetic system, and also looks cold enough for all snow. However, the location of the best accumulating snow is still uncertain. Temperatures will also be much colder during this period, which would yield a fluffy snow with high snow ratios. There will also be some wind with this system, and there could be areas of blowing snow. Those with Thanksgiving, travel plans should continue to monitor the forecast. The coldest temperatures of the season so far will be observed Thursday into the weekend. Spotter information statement, Skywarn spotter activation will not be needed. The Twin Cities, Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 6 p.m., November 19, 2010. Today's high temperature was 39 degrees and the low 30. No precipitation fell today. Sunset tonight is at 4.41 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7.17 a.m. The Chanhassen, Minnesota climate summary for this evening, as of 6 p.m., November 19, 2010. Today's high temperature was 37 degrees and the low 27. No precipitation fell today. Now for the National Weather Service.